Canada makes more occupations, eligible for immigration. With each passing day, we are seeing new changes being introduced within Canadian immigration, to overcome the growing skills and labor shortages. This time is no different as Canada, has added more professions to the list of eligible occupations, along with some LMIA exemption codes, to help employers easily recruit the required talent under different immigration programs. We'll talk all about this in detail in today's video, so keep watching. Our Q and A series will be coming soon, where we'll be answering your immigration-related queries. You can ask your questions in the comments below. At a time when the demand for talent keeps growing, Canada seems to be working tirelessly to make sure its immigration programs are helpful for companies in recruiting highly skilled and talented individuals successfully. Consequently, Canada is changing LMIA exemption codes and eligible occupations. The Labour Market Impact Assessment, or LMIA exemption codes for employers, and foreign nationals interested in acquiring work permits according to the International Mobility Programme, or IMP, were recently altered by the Canadian government. Moreover, we have also seen some additions to the list of eligible occupations of the global talent stream. This ultimately becomes a part of the Temporary Foreign Worker Programme, or TFWP, aimed at tackling short-term shortages of skills and labour. So what are the new LMIA exemption codes? Before hiring a temporary foreign worker, employers are supposed to acquire an LMIA from Employment and Social Development Canada, also known as ESDC. One of the main reasons for getting an LMIA is to confirm that the temporary foreign worker being hired is a necessity, as Canadian citizens or permanent residents are not available to fill the job role. What's important to note here is that the process of acquiring an LMIA can be time-consuming. There is a specific method for advertising job roles and recruiting people that employers need to follow under the TFWP. On the other hand, according to sections 204 to 208 of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Regulations, or IRPR, employers are allowed to recruit temporary foreign workers without obtaining an LMIA under the IMP. Multiple new LMIA exemption codes were introduced to the Global Case Management System or GCMS by Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, also known as IRCC. For those who don't know, the GCMS is an integrated system used around the world to process citizenship and immigration applications. In addition to this, new individual country-specific free trade agreements were also included for employers in order to make a clear distinction between categories of applicants. It is important for employers to be aware of these changes so that they can utilize the new LMIA exemption codes, especially those who rely heavily on LMIA exemption streams. Let's now go over the newly added professions to the Global Talent Occupation list. The Global Talent Stream, which is a part of the TFWP, was introduced so that employers could easily recruit highly skilled and talented people from different parts of the world. This would ultimately prove helpful in addressing short-term shortages of skills and labor in Canada. The global talent stream was specifically designed for employers interested in hiring unique and skillful individuals. It adds convenience to the recruitment process for some high-demanding job positions for employers with a labor markets benefit plan approved by ESDC. The plan depicts that an employer's activities are going to impact the Canadian labor market positively in the long run. Let's take a look at the new job roles that were added to the list of eligible occupations of the global talent stream on the 22nd of December 2022. Mining engineers, electrical and electronics engineers, computer engineers, aerospace engineers, civil engineers. Employers can start recruiting foreign nationals for these job roles under the global talent stream due to these changes. That's all for today. Like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Canadian immigration.
Share our video on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.